Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We took a break from pioneering, and now we're going to uh, play some Throne of Eldraine draft, a format which I'm still enjoying. So let's. Can we just do mono red sundering stroke? I mean, this has got to be worse than scorching dragon fire, right? I think it's a strong card, but I don't think it's like. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> I also like Fairy Vandal, Fierce Wolf Stalker. Tome Raider, I don't think, is better. It's definitely not better than... Well, but thanks so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. I think it's between Dragonfire, Witch Stalker, and Vandal. I kind of just want Fairy Vandal, guys. This is actually real. I think it's close. Thank you! I took the Vandal. Oh, now we get past Slaying Fire. <gasps> Crutch Jr., what's going on, buddy? I keep looking for you so we can do your modern deck, but then you're never there. And I feel sad. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I just want you to know I have not forgotten about it. I'm still waiting. I just want to make sure you're there for it. Unless you're fine with not being there for it, in which case I'll just do it. But I'm going to take this Slaying Fire. You don't get caught up in the Slaying Fire. Ooh, Frogify is nice. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. <clears throat> <clears throat> I need the opinion of a wise man. What mixer do you enjoy? Rum? Uh, I don't. I don't drink, so uh, could not tell you, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, the wise man is. Uh... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not so wise after all. In which case, I need you to arbitrarily choose a soda based on nothing. Oh, so my favorite mixer with rum is actually Squirt. Thank you. Did I, did I get it? Unseen Spectre, thank you so much, Larissa, buddy. Welcome back. 31 months? Good lord. We're approaching three years, Unseen Spectre. I'm going to see you eventually. Sunny D is not a soda. God. Get it together, Skeletal Cat. <clears throat> Oh, the magic mirror? Hmm. If this said you can't lose the game for having no cards in your library, I'd be all over it. Absolutely just all over it. it's actually worth anything 55 so I'm just taking witching well it feels weird to take witching well over magic mirror but you can do it all on YouTube I'm working a lot of 10 hour shifts and today is actually my first day oh crutch junior I'm so sorry buddy I felt bad because like we talked about it and I didn't want you to think I ever forgot because it's literally on my mind regularly Let's... I guess Merchant's actually not terrible. So Tiny's pretty good, though. We don't necessarily have to be red. I do like a Merchant with uh, Fairy Vandal, but we don't have any of the other pieces yet. So I'm going to take So Tiny. Stick with the... Stick with the blue. <gasps> Excuse me. Mystical Dispute. That's usually just a hard counter, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I'm taking that. That seems totally fine. I love this fight. Crutch Jr., I'm glad to have you as part of this family. <clears throat> you old Crutzinger, you. <clears throat> it 
It's your father. Your mother and I are very concerned about you. You seem to be talking faster than normal. We're worried yours yours on the coke. I don't. I don't even. I don't even. I. I don't. I have to go. Did we open Ocao? <laughs> That's a, is that a Hawaiian island? Oh my god, it's, it's, I guess it's barge in and we'll just keep the, the theme going. We can also take Shambling Suit, which is set to be a 3-3, three, three, but then they're, they're just going to block it with the Frogify to make it smaller, so. Did we open Jaya's Emulating Inferno? Wow, that's a solid throwback. Oki? Oku? <clears throat> uh, God, I'm really not impressed with Bargin, though. I'll take this guy. Hey, opt? Opt it! Uh, how deep are we going on Fairvan? I don't actually like our deck right now. I think we're getting cards that fit in it well, but I don't think I like it. Does that make sense? That food making idiot. Mm, didn't say please. I'm okay with that. Vantress Paladin. Are we just mono bluing it? Thank you. God, it certainly feels like it. Colin, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Do you think Questing Beast is overtuned? I mean, it's really good. It's like grossly good. I mean, it's possible they could have just taken one or two lines of text off it and it's still very, very good, you know? Like, I don't know. It's a weird card. <laughs> Alright, good, good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think Oko is more uh, overtuned. Uh, we're gonna probably drafts, not draft, uh, we're gonna probably do some Outer Worlds tonight when Mike gets off work at like 1, I guess. The roads are the dustiest. <clears throat> yeah, there's all the commands were lost, unfortunately. Alright, well. Great Henge? That's not the mythic we're looking for, unfortunately. Hmm. Hmm. It still just might be good enough, though. It's still very good. I can see. Oh, I guess we took it. I don't know what's going on. My mouse, like, wigged out for a second, or, or Magic Online wigged out, and I was like, I guess we. Alright, well. You're looking henge? I don't even know if that makes any sense. Folio of fancies. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'll take the folio of fancies. 
It's also good as shambling suit. Great Henge is also good as shambling suit. <clears throat> so now we're like, we could be red. We could be green. Nobody knows. <coughs> uh, Alright, none of these cards are great for us, unfortunately. Fierce Witch Stalker is okay. If we're great henging. Run away together is good. are decisions we have to make. It's this guy or this guy, right? I don't even think this guy's that. I'm going to get a Witch Stalker. Another Frogify? Oh, Biscuits. I'll just take the Frogify. I mean... I wish, like, <clears throat> Shambling Suit's interesting because all the cards that help it get bigger are cards that easily go to the graveyard, right? Like, oh, you got a 6-3 Shambling Suit. I'll just block with a so tiny, make it smaller. I'll just block with the Frogified creature, make it smaller. So, like... You get to eat these guys, but then, like, they just end up making your guy smaller. So it's kind of weird. This is a late worthy night, and it's like, it's so disrespectful, dude. Alright, we can be blue green. I feel like I'm always blue green, but I really like it a lot. Frogify, curtain lights, this is it, we've hit the heights. On with the show, this is it. <clears throat> you know, or something like that. And no one heights will hit. <clears throat> On with the show, this is it. Piper of the Swarm? Why is this still here? Oh, Lord. <clears throat> this card's also game winning. It's better than Curious Pair, or Misford River Turtle, or, or the stupid Griffin, so. Oh, boy. I'm just going to take a runaway together. That is a late. Ugh, God. So now we can take Runaway together, stay on blue, or we can take Foreboding Fruit. Hmm. This is interesting. We have literally three separate ways we can go with our blue, and I really want a clear signal here. I'm going to take the Runaway together. We don't have one. It's okay. We also only have three creatures. Fairy Vandal, Shambling Suit, and Vantress Paladin. Mantle of Tides. Oh god, none of these are any good. <clears throat> Crashing Drawbridge. Draw, dr drawbridge. Crashing Drawbridge. I'm just going to take Mantle of Tides, I guess. Tempting Witch, I guess, is fine. S Sorcerer's Room could be decent. How many sacrifice outlets do we have here? Come on, Mouse. You really need to stop. This is un unacceptable. <sighs> Tempting Witch or Sorcerer's Broom. I guess we'll go with the Broom. I mean, I don't want to commit to Black here for two cards. When we can open, like, Oko, of course. Of course we could. This is it. A Knight of Knights. <coughs> Excuse me. On with the show. This is it. Do -do -do -do. I really, I, I dislike, I dislike you for getting the song in my head, Phil. No, I can't, I can't dislike you. Overwhelmed Apprentice, that's a late Overwhelmed Apprentice. I'll take it. 
<clears throat> if we are folioing or milling three boxes and eight pre let's get to know that's that's freaking brutal dude this is it the night of nights let no one heights will hit foreboding fruit this is it <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to take the Bell of the Brawl. I think we can probably get another foreboding, foreboding fruit if we want to be black. And oh, my heart's will hit. <coughs> Jousting dummy reminds me a lot about myself. Just without the jousting. Wow. That's self burn. The stick does not look impressive, guys, and I don't know what's going on. This is it. The night of nights. <clears throat> Alright, so now the third pack is really gonna... It's gotta give us the direction here, right? I mean, if you're going to wish for anything, <clears throat> wish for an Oko. Oko. I think it just might be Lovestruck Beast. I think that can commit me to green here. Hypnotic Sprite also very good, but I think the 5-5 five, five for 3 is just really nice, and it goes well with Great Henge. The 1-1 one, one is also not super hard to get if we get any uh, Tome Fairies. I'm gonna take the beast. Ah, I got the beast. Tomb Raider, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Now we have baked into a pie, and I feel real bad. I'm like, gosh, dang it. <clears throat> Whatever, I'm sticking to it, guys. This is our deck now. This is our life together. We did not open an Oko. On with the show, this is it. I hate you so much. So much. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat's real scratchy. Uh, Castle Gad and Bruce are Eleonora. And another first Witch starter. I feel like all these are Irish or Scottish. Oh, that mono, blue, that mono blue cube deck was great. I was a big fan of that. I know the one you're talking about. It felt like we couldn't lose a game.
Thank you. Oral, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I guess it's Underwhelming Queen of Ice. Mm -hmm. Are you mad at me? What? No. What? You always ask me this. Oh god, please don't call Frontier in Eternal Format. Don't call Pioneer in Eternal Format either, god damn it. <clears throat> don't care about you. I don't think we have Lucky Clover. Uh I don't think we're I don't think we're good for it. We're not. I kinda like Spore Cap Spider here. It's either that or Corridor Monitor, and this is just a better spider, so. How come we didn't open any Gadwicks or Okos? That doesn't even make any sense. Shouldn't we have opened an Oko? <clears throat> oh, Gadwick is definitely not too expensive. Card is great. I'm gonna take this Witching Well number dose. This is it, the Night of Nights. Hardua? I don't even know what that second one is. Oh my god, how do we always get Thunderous Snappers in our deck? Like, even if we only have, like, three cards that are going to trigger it, it's still just a 4-4 four, four for four, which is totally fine. <clears throat> I'm totally okay with that. Oh, another Garenberg Colony? Alright, now we got more. Look, now we're good. This is just looking, we're just doing so well now. <coughs> Gingerbread House. Do you want this Merrileaf Rider? Rider? Well, I'm not going to be playing these guys, but, you know, they're okay to have. This is also non-token, so... Let's make four cuts here. Jeez. Not, no, sir, I don't like it. I don't think our deck is great, unfortunately. This is like one of the... I like Vantress Pelling because it's one of the few flyers we have. We have Fairy Vandal and, uh... Uh, what's the other one? It's not Tome Raider. It's not what I was thinking. Oh well. Does it matter? I don't know. Magic's hard. What up, TPO? <clears throat> I think we can probably take Overwhelming, Overwhelmed Apprentice out. I don't think it's good. Hmm. Mystical Dispute might just be too narrow. We do have a didn't say please. I mean, it's not narrow. I mean, like... It's going to counter most things, right? Got two more cuts to make. <clears throat> this is it the night of night I don't think I care about Marilyn Rider 
We don't have many two drops though that come down on turn two. I'm gonna take. I just don't like opt. I don't think it's. I think it's just filler. Third drop is shambling, sh shambling suit, which is not great, but like it actually kind of goes well in our deck. Let's take the signpost scarecrow out. <clears throat> 10-7? Nah, we're doing 8-9. Alright, this deck does not seem great. So I'm gonna like... What's the word I'm looking for here? I'm gonna temper my expectations here. I know what I will hit. Okay. Do you have any one ones turn on the if it, yeah the uh, we have a tome raider. One tome raider. Gonna go two of them play against Garrick? I'm okay with that. I wanna keep both of these. It gives us no plays until turn four though. I think we definitely want to keep the Great Henge. It's just a lot of late game inevitability. So we're going to keep that. <coughs> Vantress Paladin can go. This is it. The Knight of Knights. Oh, it's a Great Henge. Wow, that's crazy. <coughs> Alright, so... <coughs> got this guy coming down. And then Great Henge is going to cost 5. So if we hit our 5th land, we can just Great Henge. That's pretty decent. As long as we're alive, then I think <clears throat> gaining two every turn from the Great Hand should be nice. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm tempted to frogify one of these guys. Because if they pump both of these next turn, there's a big difference between taking six and four. Like, you know, it's just... And next turn we have our Thunderous Snapper, so... On what the show this is it? Okay, they didn't do anything. All right, so this is exactly what we wanted to happen. This guy comes down, and then next turn we can henge if this guy survives. Ideally, this guy survives because they'd have to have slaying fire, which is uncommon. They don't attack. We drop great henge. Game ends. Oh, and we get to equip that. Good lord. I actually should have played the broom, I guess, but, yeah. Because <clears throat> if we played broom, we can actually crack this next turn, one, two, three, four, and then still have enough mana to make a copy, which is pretty nice. Oh, they found an island. That changes everything. I mean, it doesn't. We're still way ahead right now, but, you know. Oh, oh, snap. I'll take four. You want to attack with this guy? Interesting. On with the show. This is it. Well, let's play this so we can scry to see what we get with the Sorcerer's Broom. I can bottom both of those. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Sammy, I can borrow whatever I need from Mana Traders. Uh, I don't want to... A 
I tried to attack with the broom, but I could not. Uh, I'm confused. It is Wednesday, my dudes. What's going on, Erk? This is an Outer Worlds. You're correct. You are correct. I uh, two three. They put a two one ones in the front. One of these is going to be correct. <clears throat> uh, yeah, okay. Okay. This doesn't seem great for them. This is it. The Knight of Knights. <clears throat> They're at 11, so if they block these two... They almost die. Oh, this guy can't even attack because of his stupid... Because this guy's a 2-3. Oh, biscuits. <clears throat> we could have actually played Witching Well, draw some cards, put this over here. Oh, they're just taking it. That is fascinating. Um, I mean, let's just crack this now. Uh, okay. In case you wanted to play anything, I wanted to crack that. I don't see how they beat this card. Like, this card, like, <clears throat> this is why we took it. Like, it's expensive, but, like, it's unbeatable once it's on the board. Gaining two every turn, drawing a card every turn, and making your creatures bigger every turn. Like, it is Wednesday, my dudes. It's actually pretty good. It's awkward. Okay, well, that's good, but I, I think we're I think we're still okay. So we got four and three and then so eleven. One, two, three, four, five, four, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're one shy of doing all the things that we want to do. This is it. The Knight of Knights. I mean, they're buying themselves a good amount of time. Remember the old American control standard deck you wrote about back in the day on TCG? Had a really a Stormbreath Dragon Sinkster. Any thought on revisiting that from behind? Not really, no. I <laughs> I think you underestimate the fact that I wrote about two decks a week for like 10 years. <clears throat> so, no. No, a random deck I wrote about like, God, six years ago, five years ago, four years ago. It has not really crossed my mind to revisit. Uh, one, two, three, four. We can keep up. Didn't say please. Oh, Magic with the Raid. Nice. Thank you so much, Magic. The Gathering. You. I don't want to move this because then this guy dies. <clears throat> so you can just stay right on there. 
I don't want to lose our gentleman. What's going on, Magic Guys? Good seeing you. Good seeing you guys. We're doing some we're doing some uh, some Throneville drain draft in here. This is MTGO. This is the original uh, the original MTG Arena client that came first. And um, it's still good. I've been playing some Pioneer on here. Yep, you can have all these things. All of these things you can have. <clears throat> this is the one where you draft with actual human beings. That is correct. That is correct. Oh, MTG Arena is also great. Nothing, huh? All right. Do we do anything? There's nothing to do. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Is it a 2 2 flyer? My god. The rich get richer. Draw two cards? Okay. Seems good. Um. You know what? We can leave it on there. That's fine. I feel like we're in really good shape here. I don't know. I'm no expert. I might be an expert. But uh, you can stay home. This is they're holding on. They're holding on really well. Like this is not uh I'm brewing uh Reanimator Pioneers to try to get the right combination. I agree with that. I mean like there's a lot of things that are hard to get the right combination in Pioneer currently. <clears throat> nope, that's fine. All of this is fine. Uh, so if I crack this, I have enough mana to make a guy, but I don't really want to do that. Because I want to keep up to it and say please. So I guess we'll just lose this gentleman. And uh, move on. We also don't have enough blue for Sir Eleonora and keeping up to it and say please. So we're just going to play Marileaf Rider. And Queen of Ice. And hope we don't deck ourselves is really what we're going here. <clears throat> Don't you draft with people in arena? No, you draft with we, you, on arena. You draft with bots actually, which is why you're able to like pick up your draft. You can like draft a pack and then go do something else. You can grab food in between. Um, why am I watching? If you aren't an expert, this is what I ask myself every day. Every day we stream. I'm like, what? I don't know. It's a good question. Let's bring in this mystical dispute. Maybe spore cap spider. I don't know. Do we really need that? Mm, I don't know. It does block their, their two ones pretty well. Marley Frider seems pretty bad here. I don't want to cut anything on this top end because these are the only ways we have to win the game. I think there's a lot more I think there's a lot more to it than um, uh, just enabling human versus human draft. I think it's a, I think it's a lot a lot more complex than that. I also think they're going for efficiency and a, a, a better mobile experience, which is like, it's a lot easier to have a mobile draft. If I'm like in an airport and I want to do a draft, oh, I can do draft my first pack and then my flight comes and I'm like, oh, I can't finish this draft so I can get up and go, right? Like it's, it's a, it's just a more convenient experience for situations like that. So, I mean, there's, I mean, like it's easy to, it's easy to see the, the, the cons to a thing when it when those cons affect you but sometimes it's harder to see the positives um for a thing when those positives don't affect you as well so <clears throat> yeah bots drafting is way more convenient pick up and put down not timed etc it just sucks because the bots right so i mean like it's a, it's a it's a give and take i agree with that I mean, I've also benefited from from the draft situation where I'm just like, hey, I can I can take as long as I want on this pick, or like, I can talk to chat and figure out what the best play is, you know, things like that. Like, it's just, I mean, there's definitely pros to it. <clears throat> also, if you guys are new to the channel, I uh, stream five days a week, at least five days a week. So if you guys want to ship me a follow, if we get close enough, and you guys want to. <clears throat> 
you guys want to ship me a sub, I'm more than okay with that as well. On with the show, this is it. That's a, that's a golden egg right there. Beautiful golden egg. I mean, we can either play <clears throat> Shambling Suit, which is a 2-3, which blocks this well, or we can play this, which is also a 2-3. Which 2-3 do we play? These are the questions we ask ourselves. I see we didn't end up with an evil until, did we not? Are we at, oh, 474.01. That's a, that is a solid, a solid total. Could you just play Spore Cap Spider here? I think that's probably better than Shambling Suit, but it's not better than Tome Raider. Hmm. But we have Fairy Vandal in the deck, so maybe we just want to save our Tome Raider. All right, we're just going to play Spider here. Pack one Goose, pack two Garrick. Oh, wow. Some guys have all the luck. Sam, you better win that draft, buddy. Or I'm coming for you. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Five ninety nine. Oh, good. A uh, nice even four eighty. Lock dragon, eh? No, don't like that. Hmm. And we can block it with the spider, I guess. But still, pack three. Oko, live that dream. Live that dream. I guess we're just playing snapper here. Is that soundbite from The Office? It is. That is Michael Scott after uh, after Joe takes over the, the Dunder Mifflin Scranton branch and it becomes Dunder Mifflin Sabre. And she's like telling him how it's going to be and he's like, no, don't like that. Always leave it odd so Badger's forced to fix it. That's true. That's actually a solid strategy. As someone who makes their living on Twitch, um... I can conclude, I can, I can agree rather, that uh, that if you leave the donation number an odd number, RPG Badger will come in here and be like, I gotta fix this. <clears throat> this is it, the night, the nights. Oh, what heights will hit. Opening Oko on MTGO does make you feel like Bill Gates for a minute, because he's like 70 tickets. 80 tickets, my bad, 80 tickets. I made a mistake. Oh man, why why would you do that? I thought we were having a good time. <clears throat> I guess we're just blocking, taking three. God. We were all friends, we were all having a good time up until you bounced my snappy boy. Interesting. We could just play this and then play Tome Raider here. That actually seems decent. Gives us a lot of a lot of bodies on the board. And then if we hit a land, we can actually go Thunder Snapper and keep Runaway together up, which is pretty nice. Oh, we did hit a land. So we're going to equip the Tome Raider so it's formidable. I guess we could also put it on the Spore Cap Spider as well, but, you know. It almost kissed 100 on Wednesday? Oko? Okay. My god, that card is a banana. That card is one banana. Alright, that's fine. I always feel like they have six cards already, so they're going... Is this... Are they at six or are they going to nine? They're probably going at... They're probably at six, right? Ugh. <clears throat> 
<coughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Anytime they just draw three, I'm just like, eh, it's fine. Oh, jeez. So tiny? Ah, oh, that's fine. Don't mill my great henge, though. Oh, you milled a so tiny and an island. I don't care about either of those. What's more fun in standard? Cobblade or Oko Ramp? That's an interesting question. Uh, fun for you or the opponent? I think Cobblade is definitely more oppressive, for sure. Um, and we're just going to play Snapper Boy here. Might as well get in there. We have a bunch of blockers, so. Alistair Kane, what's going on, dude? Is Twitch struggling today or does the Charlotte Airport block it? I couldn't get the stream loaded, so I turned off Wi-Fi. That's interesting. I doubt the Charlotte Airport would block it. How many bananas is Tassiker? Uh, three, I think. <clears throat> Stolen by the fae. Blinded by the fae. I don't want you to have four one ones, so I'm just gonna. I would have rather bounced Tome Raider. But, uh, sometimes you don't get to bounce it. Damn it. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Well, that's something, all right. I want to be a little more aggressive now that they, uh, oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yes. Oh, man. It's a trap. And I can play Witching Well? Oh, my God. Oh, God, we just had it all, the guys. We just had it all. Um, I don't care about either of these, to be honest. I think we'd rather just, like, get to, like, bigger cards, like Great Henge or what have you. Oh my god, mystical dispute. <gasps> oh lord. <coughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is it. What's it like to always have it? God, I wouldn't even be able to tell you. I have it sometimes. I wouldn't say I always have it, though. Yep, yeah, you got it. Did they, did they know? That's weird. That's weird. Okay. Well. What are you going to do? The big talk of the SCG Open is a preponderance of slow play warnings not getting enforced and people getting unintentional draws. Someone's on four and six. Oh, good lord. <clears throat> Do I care about this thing? <laughs> Katie said, I said party in chat. Oh my god. Mean monger, what's going on? Okay, so <clears throat> I guess we're just like, that's what we were looking for. Good lord, there it is. Uh, it's supposed to cost five. One, two, three, four, five. And we get to draw a card. Oh, boy. And we get to... Oh, jeez. It's all happening. You know what? You can stay on there, I think. Where 
dissolve you. So we can actually even play Shambling Suit. Oh boy. Two, three. Shambling suits, this is the biggest shambling suit I've ever seen. That's unbelievable. This is fine. That's just fine. All of this is fine. Everything that's happening here is just absolutely fine. We have two cards in hand, which because of Great Henge is actually three cards. This is five cards. Yep, that's fine as well. All of these things are just totally. Totes kosher, as the kids would say. No one says that. This is very weird that they haven't played Stolen by the Fae yet. Like, the odds of me having this at one mana, like, why wouldn't you just snap it off and bounce this guy? That's really weird to me. Another lock dragon, huh? See, the problem here is that, like, this costs an extra three, and then the stone by the fate costs six, so it's nine mana, and they already have eight, so all they need is one more mana. I'm just gonna, like, counter this. Yeah, when I have one blue up, and you're gonna play, you're gonna play Tome Raider instead of four one ones and Tempo Swing, like, I mean, it's really weird to be ghosting on a Throne of Eldraine draft, but I mean, you gotta take what you can get, I guess. Magic's hard to win games. <clears throat> Alright. So you're taking... Yep, everybody's dead. I mean, we're at a point where, like, even if you bounce a thing, I don't really care. Sorry. Mm. It's down there. It's fine. Was that a 4-4 flyer? And I get to draw a card? Okay. <clears throat> Seems okay. I mean, if you this is like the biggest thing you can bounce, and then you get four one ones, and I'm still like steamrolling things. Yeah, this card is pretty pretty fantastic and limited. Hey, look at that! They had it. <laughs> Just a little weird to be like, you know what? Instead of replaying this when you have one blue mana up, I'm gonna not do that instead um the nice thing is we can actually crack witching well at instant speed <clears throat> to move this if we really need to which is a pretty sick combat trick Got it. I 
Um, <clears throat> four, five, six mana. I think we just keep didn't say please up. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's every creature draws as a card. Come on. It's only round one. What is even happening? How is this real life? Into the story? You know what? You can have that. <laughs> That's fine. Alright. Well, we won the match. We're like, let's you can go ahead and draw three cards. I will play first. Nice. Oh, turn one Lovestruck Beast into Folio Fancies? <clears throat> Yikes. I just play rares, guys. That's all. <clears throat> Turn two, does this just win? Like, I, I feel like we just go, like... Like, it's funny, because we can either go, like... Love Struck Beast here, which is very, very strong, or we can just mill them for six. I think this is stronger. I mean, I don't know. Anchorus, what's going on? All right, two three threes, huh? Okay, well, 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 well. I feel like now is a little more safe to start milling. We can just probably wait to play these creatures because if they play another dwarves, like it's pretty good. I wonder how many dwarves we're gonna hit here. Oh, a slaying fire. All right, and a reeve soul. They're gonna go dwarf dwarf here. No dwarf dwarf. Yep. Barge in. Yep. Sounds fine. I mean, this is this is a two for one, and their other dwarf is now a two two. So. <clears throat> yep. Milling them for four does not seem better than just playing like Witching Well Thunderous Snapper. Or Witching Well Fear Stalker. Fear Stalker probably better. I'd rather lose the Fear Stalker because on board it's just worse. Um I don't actually care about either of these to be quite honest. Actually next turn we can Next turn we can play Snapper and also tap something down. A hot dog placement out of business and donate all their inventory to us. Yami not going to try the gator dog though. Oh god. Yeah, I'm sure. Huh. So milling does not seem to be the ideal strategy here. Yep, that's pretty good. Hmm. 
two lands, huh? Well then, this Folio Fancy is looking pretty sad right now. Good draw. It's a good draw because now they, we can block here and they can just shoot it to kill it. Or not. <clears throat> I'm tempted to draw here. End of turn, draw like three cards. God, it's so bad. I don't want to make them draw. Oh my god, really? It's a yikes for me. Well, we can't attack here. So what's going to be one, two, three? Ugh. Just mill them for three. That seems bad, right? gonna let it happen like because we want to go fairy vandal so tiny like six seven eight nine that's three and then we can still draw three to pump the fairy vandal I don't know what that does, but all right. Okay, so they're just dumping their hand here? So we can mill them for six and then six again. We just have to not die. Hmm. So seven, eight, nine, ten, three mana. So we have seven mana left over. Three, four, five. I think we just play Tomb Raider here. Hope for Great Henge. Didn't say please is strong. <clears throat> So five, six, seven, we can go Witching Well, keep up Didn't Say Please, keep up Folio. And then we just hope we don't get murdered, I guess. Both of these can go on the bottom. Hmm. 
Yeah, whatever this is, we're countering it. And then they're going to be tapped out for the turn, which is great. So they have three cards in their deck, so they're just basically dead. Wow, this match was insane. The game. All right, we go to three. I don't know what you can hit me here. Okay, you go to, I go to two. And then we just mill you during your turn. And then we go to one. Okay, cool. Wow, that was insane. <clears throat> wow. Folio Fancies did end up doing it. Bonkers. Actual bonkers. Wow, that was ridiculous. I almost like the Wolf's Quarry here. I think I might. It's just like, I mean, if we can survive, like, it's just three dudes. <clears throat> I feel like Great Henge would have also been great there. I'm going to take a one Witching Well. I'm going to take out Mantle. Oh, you think you fancy. I do think me fancy. Um... <clears throat> Didn't say please, Frogify. Oh, Marilee Frider is pretty rough. Sporecap Spider can come in. Scarecrow can come in. Actually, Frogify is probably bad to take out. Overwhelming Apprentice can just block some things, I guess. Actually, Marilee Frider is probably better than this guy just because it just blocks three ones and stuff. All right, we'll try it like this, I guess. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. I think Love Struck Beast making two blockers, one of which is a 5-5, five five, is just super good. Super good. I think my turn one adventure was better, but, you know, it's not a contest. Okay, this hand actually looks great. Playing so tiny on this dwarf is really decent. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, might as well play 5-5. Five, five. I lost game. Sammy, how did you do it? How, Sammy? <clears throat> how? Another great way to support the stream or the content on YouTube that I create is to uh, check out patreon.com slash franklaport. And one or two dollars a month is a great way to uh, support the channel. If you guys don't have the funds to subscribe or if you guys can't catch it on Twitch enough. Oh, you're just gonna take you know opportunistic dragon me, huh? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, we can actually just bounce this. Now we have to bounce our own guy too. I guess. Mm, yeah. I guess it's just Scarecrow here. I don't know. We really have to find a way to deal with this dragon. Magic's hard, guys. No blocks. Sure. I feel like this draw is significantly less aggressive than their previous. Uh, one out muscle would really, really help out, help out the cause a lot.
Lockmere Serpent is insane, yes. Lockmere Serpent is one of the most ridiculous rares in the set, especially for limited. Alright, it's all fine. Taking five here? Okay. Well. <clears throat> Thank you. Ready to play. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I welcome you back. Oh, does he have, like, no creatures he can block with? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's comical. Okay, so they have a barge. This does not seem like a great attack. Yeah, I just didn't even realize they had no creatures that fulfilled that criteria. Block you, block you. And block you. So this is 6, 79, 10, 11. Hmm. I mean, I know they have... <clears throat> we take one trample. It's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll risk it. Oh, wow, they didn't do anything. Interesting. Or one man away from that, really? That's pretty brutal. <clears throat> All right. Well, we have a blocker, a bouncer. So we can deal with three attackers here, which I think is fine. Uh, your rent is only 480? No, my rent is at 480 currently. The goal is 750. Yep, everybody's coming in. Let's drop a vandal like it's hot. Scorching dragon fire. Four, five. All right, let's figure out what we're doing here. <clears throat> we have to bounce this. Oh, and we get our guy back too, so let's definitely do that. And then we just block both. Yeah, that seems insane. Garbage cans can be cozy. Oh, Katie. Oh, oh, my love. <clears throat> oh, jeez. I mean, this has to be the block, right? Because they, I don't want to give. If they give this guy plus two, plus two, and trample. So they give this guy plus two, plus two, and trample. Um, and then they can pump him one time. So he'd be a five. We'd take four, and then this guy would kill this guy. And then they'd be dead. We know one of their cards is Opportunistic Dragon, so they have, like, one other card, which is probably Barge In. If they Barge In here, um, 
they can pump here. We would take one trample here and one trample here. Two trample here, so three, and we'd still be alive. So I don't really see how we die here. Especially with two Garen boys on the board. If you take some time to do some interior decorating. <laughs> Oh, garbage juice, it'll burn your throat. Well, you know what they say. About garbage juice and Sunny D. They're basically the same thing. Uh, corporate needs you to find the differences between these two pictures, and it's pictures of garbage juice and pictures of Sunny D. Okay, they didn't do anything. They're probably just going to play Opportunistic Dragon on this guy. Which is fine. Oh, they just lose. Choose target human or artifact. Neither of these are humans. They die. Wow. That was a good... We're 4-0 four, we're four oh with the... Remember when I was like, I don't think this deck is very good, guys. Uh... And then now we're 4-0 oh with it, and I don't understand what's happening. But we are due to face a Garrick this round, so... Oh, we're just playing some person. That's good. Great Henge and Folio have definitely done work. Do I keep this? Yeah, I think we keep this. We got Fairy Vandal. We're on the draw. We got Frogify. We got we got three things we can play. And then we're just gonna draw Lovestruck Beast. Oh dang it. So close. So close. Folio is pretty uh it's pretty decent. What a dummy. Three mana to get plus one plus oh? Jeez. I mean I'm tempted. We have no real uh no real way to no real engine for this fairy vandal, so I'm tempted to just like I could have just played Queen of Ice too. I'm tempted to just block, but I think we can take two here. I guess we'll do it now. Do we have a clip of the OG Sunny Deal burn your throat? I'm trying to explain the joke to someone and I sound like a lunatic. Um, yes, there's a hundred percent a clip somewhere. Oh, God, I wish I knew where it was though. Okay, this is great because we can go snapper into Paladin at some point. Let me see if I can find it somehow. I think there's got to be Eclipse, like. Can I search my clips? Wow, that would be insane. Can I search my clips? Clips of my channel. Sunny. Oh, it just searches the whole, it searches all of Twitch. Oh God. That seems almost impossible to find. Oh my god. Affinity did it. That's it. That's it. Well, I'm also streaming, so you know it's harder to it's harder to find the, the clip when I'm the one streaming. Henge two two hengewalker. In the finals, our opponent has jousting dummy two two hengewalker so far. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Okay, let's make that a command. Add com. Sunny D. <coughs> okay, now we're getting there. We're starting to build up our... I'm just taking four here. There's no way I'm going to walk into some bullshit 
plus three plus three nonsense. I wish I had some instants. I got this picture for my wedding last. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you added the goat. Oh man, that's fantastic. Wow, how'd that goat get in that winery? Hey, that's my wife you're talking about. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm just gonna play Garenberg Paladin here. Because next turn, we can play Witch Stalker. No, we can't. We can't do anything. Um, That uh, doesn't do anything either. Oh, none of these do anything. I guess we'll just hold. That clip is great because Mike gets so into it. He starts snapping his fingers. Sunny D having like a... Like it would burn my throat. Do you remember that? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's so weird. Why would they have that though? Why would that be a? That's why I don't like about it. Why would that be a marketable quality that they would want? I don't think they market that part. Well, they, you don't think? Yeah, I guess that's true. They're not like, hey, it'll burn your throat, Sunny D. It'll burn your throat, Sunny D. <laughs> wow, oh. he's in rare form tonight, guys. Oh Jesus! I mean, if they want to pump here, it's a two for one, so I'm totally fine. I always remember Sunny D having like a like it would burn my throat. He's like, I don't think it's a marketable quality. I don't think they're like, let's sell it as this. <clears throat> yep, that's what we... Oh, that's even better. Oh, and then you're going to pump this guy? That's that's something right there. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Hmm. All we want to do is find Great Henge at all times. <laughs> Guys, we found it. Uh, bottom you, top you, I guess. Oh, wow. Wow. All we want to do is find Great Henge, he says, before he finds the Great Henge. Okay, Yorvo's good. The Henge, my friend, is better. This is a 4-4, four four, but like, it gets bigger. I think it's actually worth blanking this guy. It sounds weird, but... I mean, it's still, it stays a 4, it stays a 5-5 five five because of the counters, but like, otherwise his other creatures all get bigger. Oh, we just win the... Great Henge, my dudes. It's no joke. Sport Cap Spider seems really good against all their tutus. <clears throat> Great Henge, it'll burn your throat. I'd say I got a Frogify because it just doesn't seem great against their 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 guys, I guess. It is Henge Day, my dudes. <laughs> See, that's a solid meme right there. That is a solid meme. A solid may may, as the kids as the kids say on the internets. Great hinge on top. Folio of fancies? Oh Jesus! This guy has a this, this, he has a family. <laughs> Stop! He's already dead. I think we're just actually playing merrily for Ryder here. I think the only way we lose this is if we get too far behind. I don't want to get cute and like because they're gonna draw a card. They're gonna go to five. They're gonna play a land and presumably a spell. So they're gonna go to three. And then the turn we folio fancies, they're going to have two things on board and we're just going to have folio and it's not great.
Okay, well, that's... That's not what I was expecting. Come on, lands! Oh, it's the Great Hinge! It's kind of what we wanted, but also kind of not really what we wanted. You're gonna stream Outer Worlds or just play? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be. I'm doing both. I'm gonna be streaming it tonight at like 1 a.m. Eastern time. <clears throat> so it's kind of late, but like, I'll also probably be uploading the the playthroughs on YouTube, on the youtubescom slash Lepore, which is where you guys can all go and, and hit that sub button, hit that subscribe button. Okay. Yeah, I've been having a good time with the late night streams, and I realize they're not as hard as I thought they'd be. Okay, well, lands would be great. I'm just gonna frogify this guy. I do not feel like having you get your perks. Grumgully the Generous is blue. I've watched a lot of streams of it and have very much enjoyed it. The game's so much social commentary, probably accident, accidental in the same way. Fall. Yeah, I agree with you. <clears throat> I mean, I'm just blocking this guy. Oh, um, hmm. Yeah, okay. This is fine. It's a two for one, I guess. I don't know. Grum Gully's important to get off the board, though. What about land? Don't you want someone to care about you? What about lands? You want to cast your spells. <clears throat> you know, like you do. It's true, the typing was really getting bad last night. I was really kind of, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, are you guys okay? I think they're all drunk. I'm just going to take this. That's fine. The reason we didn't block and bounce is because then they just get to replay the wolf this turn, and I really didn't want that, so... No, don't want that. No, don't like that. <clears throat> so this is a 3-3, which means this costs 6. Yeah. Buy one oh. Definitely watching MTG should help you. I mean, we're just blocking here. Or do I just take four? They have three cards. One of them is a Fear Stalker. I'm just going to block. Oh, wow. What? What? W oh. Oh. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. We get to play Tomb Raider and So Tiny here? Okay. Well, Snapper is good, but we're, we're getting a little behind here. Out muscle. Does this do anything? Oh, I think we're still dead. That was stupid. I thought it was going to be one less. I don't know why. I'm not very smart, I guess. I think that's what it comes down to. It's a low intelligence thing. I guess we still only take three. Yeah, I mean, if we if we didn't miss four land drops, I don't feel like we lose this game with Great Hinge, Double Garen, Brig Paladin in hand, but, you know, as it stands, we're probably dead. So. 
I guess it's possible they have nothing and we get to go Great Henge if we hit a green and then also cast like game two. I have no idea. Oh, God. Let's go to one. And hope Garen bring Paladin or hope Great Henge saves our lives. It does not. Okay. Yep, that's the end. Wow, that was pretty sad. Maybe we do want another Frogify. Who knows? Maybe Mantle of Tides can come out. <clears throat> okay, this is it. This is the hand to rule them all and bind them. On the play, no less? Oh, yeah. We're doing it. Oh, my God. Great Henge with... with Oh, God. Turn three, Lovestruck Beast. Turn four, Henge. It's just over. It's just over. Don't get cocky. I'm not. I'm being real. I'm being real with you guys. This is the this is the real deal, guys. I will be refilling my drink after this, guys. So get ready. And if you guys like, I'm getting so I'm getting a, I'm, I am getting cocky. You're right. It's true. But we're just not going to draw a fourth land. Are you ready? Oh man, it's happening. It's all happening right now. <clears throat> Come on, land. And turn four, Great Henge. Pretty unbelievable. Why are you playing this or MTGA? Uh, the reason is that the matches are faster. So on MTGA, it takes about two and a half hours to complete a draft because you play up to seven rounds. Uh, where Magic Online is just three quick rounds and then you get to do another draft. Uh, the other reason is that you're drafting against humans instead of bots, which is a perk for me currently because I think uh, Throne of Eldraine is a little bit more skewed when it comes to... Um... Sure. When it comes to Throne of Eldraine, because everyone, no one's, everyone's just drafting Merfolk Secret Keeper. So those are my reasons. Yikes! Uh, one, two, three, four. Snapper. And if we hit any land, we get to play Tome Raider, and we get to draw a card here. We did not, but we get to play Fairy Vandal. And the reason we're playing it now is because we want to draw the card. <clears throat> well, we had a good run. Of lands, that is. Don't let it slip away. Did you just kill my snapper? <clears throat> what an absolute scumbag. Oh god, Great Henge with Fairy Vandal? Oh Jesus. Guys, a family. One, two, three, four, five. Cast with Adamant. Six, six. Plus one, plus one. And I'm gaining three life each time. Come on. This is not a fair game. And scene. Like, I think, can I think block here, block here, take three? Probably. There's no reason to attack with Sorcerer's Broom, I guess. It's a little preemptive, but thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. 
You can find me on CoolStuffInc.com. Every Wednesday I have new articles go up. This week we talked about the banning announcement <clears throat> and what it means. So definitely check that out. And uh, you can hit those follow and subscribe buttons. They definitely help out the channel a ton. You can go to YouTube.com slash Frank Lepore or Twitch or Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Those are also great ways to help out the channel. Send those subscribes my way. And 3 0 with a deck I didn't think we were gonna win a game with. And then we win the mat. We win the whole draft. The whole kit and caboodle, as they say. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. I appreciate you all.